live in a world where we produce data in an ever-increasing rate. More data are produced today around not only biodiversity but other, other adjacent fields of science than ever before in the past. So it's extremely important to understand how we, as a community that really handles, produces, curates and disseminates information around biodiversity, really need to get our act together to be able to respond not only to the increasing amount of information but also how we effectively translate that information into actionable knowledge for policy making in the future. The individual researchers and research groups are focused on their battle plan, how they're going to advance understanding of biodiversity and then all of a sudden you're listening to someone talking about something you had never thought about and it changes your perception of the solution to this big problem we're facing. They hear you speak and all of a sudden you talk and you see opportunities for collaboration. So bringing together 750 people in one place definitely um, is the kind of thing that needs to happen more frequently in biodiversity science. Well, my idea about the future is, in fact, that all my hope is on these people here in the conference. Apart from being careful with all these PVC tubes that they don't disappear into the sea, I can only encourage people here in the conference to go on with their wonderful work. So we live very exciting times and I think the realization from the key actors globally that really work around biodiversity information is a huge advantage. Last year for the first time I think the major actors came together and agreed that they need to form an alliance for biodiversity knowledge. And I think that was the first step that really signifies the new era in which we're entering. Biodiversity Next is a conference where everyone um, from the world of biodiversity um, is coming together to Leiden to talk about cooperation really, about exchange of ideas and to share their work um, to make our science better, to make our policy better and to try to improve biodiversity in the world. It started just after my graduation from Cardiff University in 2013 when I first attended Tadwig meeting in Florence, in Italy. And I was exposed to this uh, initiative of having biodiversity informatics. So when I went back, I started thinking about how I can use all this knowledge and how I can help my country. I'm working with a biomedical research center in Rwanda. What I do is mainly about research conduct. I think most of the contributions I take to this different platform in my country is because of the basics I have acquired from attending uh, different sessions and different meetings. Data is basic for a better knowledge on the status and trends of biodiversity. And if we apply that to how to understand the underlying and the in direct drivers of biodiversity loss will be very helpful for the decision makers. The fact that we are drawing people from so many different fields means that quite a, a, a lot of people that are here had not met before since we are bringing people from different walks of life and from different fields of expertise. This is going to be a cross-fertilizing exercise. We definitely need to continue this kind of uh, discussion between the actors and we need to do it in such a way that we engage with the scientists, the people who really are on the ground and they deliver biodiversity data. So I think it's extremely important, these kind of conferences, that they move forward in the future. I know that next year in uh, Washington, a similar conference is being organized and I hope that it will take the next step in our discussions, but we have to do plenty of work also in between. We can't wait until we have all of those conferences from year to year. We need to act on a daily basis.